Dynalog BRDG 600C. Okay. Hey everyone, Tommy Jordan here. This is the Dynalog DRDG 600C. We're going to open this up right now and see what all we have here. Let's go ahead and take this part out. Now this thing is less than half a pound, so you don't need to worry about registering it. Here are the instructions. All right, so we have our instructions. Looks like your basic instructions there. Nice. Here is the drone. Now, this is light and it feels, oh, look at that. Wow, they even put protective paint, uh, tape over the landing pads. Well, that's, that's really nice. Although, you know what, I kind of like that. I think I actually might keep that on there, actually. Here is where I'll put the SD card. And let's go ahead and fold this out, take a look how it looks. Oh, nice. Now, this Dynalog mini drone here, again, this is the DR-DG600C, feels really good in my hand. And look at that, That's it's got a nice size, nice footprint. I really like the way this feels. Look at that camera. Ooh, nice. I like the face. All right, let's go ahead and see what else we have here. We have two batteries. Nice. 1600 mAh batteries. Plug that in. Slides in and locks in. Good. Let's go ahead and turn on. Look at that. Ooh, like that. All right, what else do we have here? Probably blades and all the other things that you have to get with your drone. There's our blades, our charging cables, everything we need, and additional um, screws as well. And here are your blades. We have two sets of blades. Nice, okay, here's a controller. My understanding is that these are not real antennae. Let's see, open that up. It looks like for the controller though, we will charge it on the side. And uh, let's go ahead and pop this open. This will hold on to our phone. Let's see how well it does with holding my phone. Let's take a look here. Ready? Put that in. Put my phone in, and there it goes. So it's holding my phone. And it's holding the phone. I've seen that some evaluators for the uh, remote were saying that it doesn't hold on to the phone too well, but you know, if your phone's too large, you might have a problem, but for me, it's okay. You know, it's, it's holding into it. It's holding the phone. No problems. Try with the case on. Now, if you have the case on, yeah, it's holding my phone. The case is a little bit harder to hold on to it, but it's still doing it. So I'm not having any problems. It's fine for me. That's key. Let's turn the uh, power button on here. Power button. I like that everything's labeled. I can see right now where I'm set up. Very nice. Here's my GPS. Okay. So I just um, calibrated gyro. Let's see what happens if I. Uh, st oh, look at it. Starts right up. Nice. Nice and quiet. I like that. Not a good idea. These sort of things are are a little bit dangerous. <laughs> Make sure I don't have any GPS though. All right, let's see what happens if I fly inside the house. Oh, look at that! That's nice. Ooh, stops right away. That's a good sign, everyone. That's a really good sign. Let's do that again. Start. Here we go. Oh, that's nice. Hey, you know what? This is stable. I like that. Nice and stable, everybody. Bring it down. Look at that. Stops. No problems. I like it so far. I I think I'm going to like this drone, everyone. Let's take it outside and go for a flight. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to calibrate the drone. I'm just going to hit my compass button right here. Hold it down. And all the lights turned off. Turn it. go. Now put it down and turn it. And there we go. All ready to go. Nice. 
to calibrate the gyros, just go down to the left. Oh, down to the left. There we go, all calibrated. Let's go ahead and um, take a picture, everyone. So to take a picture, you're gonna hit this button. There's actually a little icon of a photograph uh, of a camera here, so I hit that. And I just took my picture, you hear that noise? And to take a video, hit this button here. And it's gonna start beeping. Doot, doot. You hear it? It'll do it again. Doot, doot. That's how I know that I'm recording video through my drone. There are no indicators on the lights to tell me that it's video recording or uh, that that I so that I can know. I will hear the audio sound to let me know. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the video now. Nice, okay. And we do also have headless mode. And if I hit this button, we can see that it shows up on the controller as headless. Turn that off. To change the speed, this is my speed indicator here. And right now, it's on slow. If I go to the left, that's slow speed. If I go to the right, faster speed. And we see that the speed light is on to let me know. And watch when I, when I, when I move the dial. See how the speed button just came on? So now it's going to go a little faster. In fact, it's going to go a lot faster. Yeah, that's a lot faster. Whew, wow, nice. I like this. Yeah, it's getting dark. I like the lights. Lights are cool. That's kind of neat. Here we go. Come on back. Okay. This is fun. I've already done the compass calibration. Let's go ahead and get the GPS signal set up. So I'm going to hit the GPS button. And now you see the lights are blinking. It is currently searching for the GPS signal, uh, the satellites. And once it has all the satellites, that light will turn solid blue. Now, something I like about the Dynalog DRDG600C, the lights are nice and bright, as you can see here. Oh, there we go. Pretty quick, found all the, all the satellites. Now the GPS mode is on. Oh, okay. I get, okay, so the GPS is on. And the reason it didn't start up right away is because it had to find the satellites. And that long beep is how we know it found all the satellites. Okay, let's go ahead and let go. And let's see if it stays put. And so right now, it's the, the GPS is on. And see how it stays still? Yeah, look at that. It's staying nice and still. Perfect. Good. So this is the GPS turned on. And it's nice and stable. Here's a takeoff button right here. And um, I'm gonna hit this takeoff button. Watch how smooth the drone takes off. Watch this. First of all, I hit the button. The blades begin spinning. It doesn't take off, it just spins. When I hit this button, it's gonna take off nice and smooth. Watch this. Isn't that nice? Nice and smooth. I really like that. Very nice. So the GPS is turned on right now. And it's staying nice and steady right here between my um, between my deck poles here. Nice and steady, look at that. So that's the GPS turned on. Now it's moving around a little bit and that's actually me doing that. Okay, so the GPS is turned on right now. Look how stable the Dynalog DRDG600 is doing. It's nice and stable. I like that thing still wobbling a little bit there. Maybe I had one too many crashes, perhaps. Right now we're on slow speed. So here's slow speed going backwards and slow speed coming forward. Right. Now let's go ahead and try fast speed. So I'm gonna hit this button here and uh, go that way. Now it's on fast speed. Here's fast speed. Pretty cool. Okay, so you can start either going to the outside or going to the inside. Either way, and notice how it's responsive. So that's a good thing. Let's go ahead and take off. Look at that. Nice and stable. Let's take off. Okay. GPS is now turned off. 
Let's see what happens. Alright. So the GPS is turned off, I believe. And still flies really nice and stable. Look at that. The GPS is off. It's nice and stable. Now there's no wind out here to take it away. But look at that, it's staying still. No GPS. That's not bad, guys and gals. Look at how stable that is. I like this. It's, um, I like that it's not very loud. I like that it's sort of quiet. That's pretty quiet, and uh, I think it's flying good. Okay, so here I am on the Dynalog app. Hit start, and it's gonna take me to the next screen, letting me know to be careful. Hit my next button, and here is the layout of everything I need to know. It has my battery status for the drone and for the controller my map my gps map as well as all my functions one key landing return to home point of interest follow me even my wi-fi signal how strong that is the number of satellites waypoints so everything you need from photos from videos even gestures vr mode flipping the image you can even see your images that you've recorded so we hit i know and we're going to go into my screen so here i am this is the actual layout of my screen hit the settings button and I can turn it on beginner mode where it controls the distance or turn off the beginner mode very simply. Here is my return altitude. I have that preset at 25 meters. Flight altitude, flight distance. Now I think I like flying the Dynalog DR-DG600C. I like this without the GPS mode. I think it's more fun to fly personally. Um, I just kind of like the way it flies. It kind of like drifts little bit and it's kind of cool and it's a nice lightweight drone it's not heavy at all all right let's go ahead and fly again because i turned the gps off and i'll just go ahead and take this off i like this actually this is actually pretty fun to fly i'm impressed with how stable this uh drdg 600 is that's, that's amazing how stable that is now i'm gonna hit the return to home button and see how it does because it does have the it does have the GPS lock. You can see how it's staying nice and still in the sky. Uh, let's go ahead and do some videotaping too while I'm at it. Okay, so I'm videotaping right now. Now let's hit the return to home feature and see how it does. There it goes, it's coming. It's coming right over us. And there it is. And it's gonna probably start coming down. And it's coming down. So it's returning to home quite nicely. Look at that, I'm gonna stop recording. Oh, okay, it stopped because I probably was, uh, okay. Oh, okay, so it does that beep when it turns to home. Oh, nice. Look at that, returned to home quite nicely. Just a little bit off the mark, but still pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and do that again. That was kind of cool. Let's go ahead and take off, and off we go. Alrighty, here we go. Okay. Nice, okay, so we're up in the sky, pretty far away there. I'm going to hit my return to home button again, and let's see how it does. Here we go, return to home button. Alrighty. So the return to home button is going to make that sound. There it is. And now it's going to start coming down. And this is pretty close to where it took off. Very nice. Coming, home, coming down nice and slow. Pretty cool. I really like how the lights are bright. I like that a lot. Seems to stop a little bit here at this point. And now it's coming back down some more. Pretty cool. Oh, that was nice. The Turner Home works quite well. The quality of the DR-DG600C is quite nice. Um, as you can see here, here's my SD card. I did put a tape over it to keep it secure in case I have a severe crash or anything. Uh, so I do recommend doing that, but the SD card just pops in, pops out. So I'm going to take it out because I already took some pictures. Okay. And then for your photography, for your video, you can, you adjust the camera to the angle that you want. So you pre-adjust it before you go up in flight. This drone is solid, it flies well, it looks great. I love the camera. Just a super nice drone. The controllers are simple to use. 
Of course, there's a couple quirks that I would do a little differently, such as the recording lights to let you know that you're recording instead of the audio. And when calibrating, I would have maybe the lights turn a different color other than turning off. But other than that, I do recommend it, everyone. So this is Tommy Jerome. If you think about buying the Dynalog DRDG600C, it is a like for me. And I do recommend it. Got the record links for you below. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom Jern. I'll talk to you all next time. Thanks again. And there's the insight. Dynalog DRDG 600C.